Why am I trying to have a sword? That's Starting shortly. takes on Avon Lake out of Ohio. Not familiar with them.
No. I gave it to their coach. Here, guys.
mine. I could not find it anywhere. But I got on a golf cart about 30 minutes ago right over there to go back. Okay. Apparently when I made it back, I didn't have it with me. So I do, I've got my work phone and I've been trying to dial it, but I can't, I have it on silent, you know. So um, well, if y'all happen to see a black one, somebody picks one up, I'm right here on these bases, it's mine, okay. Let's see if you had take backs. You'd be on silent, right? So if anybody down there can find a cell phone, that's good. Bring it to Abbott's Field. All right, so let's check the catcher's arm here. See what we're dealing with. We got our tar and royalist Bob Haas out there today. Hopefully the weather's nice out there in Hatton Heights, New Jersey. All right, so we have Corey. Actually, no, it's uh, Rob Carfagno leading off again. here in the South Carolina area last night. Game time temperature 74. But this sun boy, I'll tell you, feels like it's 94. 1 0 pitch. Two -oh count. Doing his job. Oh, the shortstop. 18 play. One down here in the top one. So we got 85 degrees back in South Jersey. All right, so we have Matty Mullen up here, hitting out of 2 old. Big night last last night. Intentional walk. Bases loaded. Maddie came through. One old pitch. And here for a strike. Two hole hitter brings up Vinny Davis. Vinny's had a big weekend here at the plate. Wednesday night hit a 400 foot home run, 400 plus up into the up into the palm trees. Oh, 
Islanders been pretty disciplined here early on. Seeing some pitches from the Avon Lake starter. Again. We have three up count here. <laughs> Puts in there for a start. Diving back with a primary lead there, but game has changed, I guess. Some prizes when you throw out a guy who's advancing on a walk a second, but all right, so we got CJ Crowley coming up here. Runners at first and second. This is with a curveball that bad. As you're locking a little bit more with the straight stuff. One one pitch. This is again. We get high pitch counts here early on. The starter. One count here. Right. Darren looking for one pitch in one spot here. Something to drive. Got runner in scoring position. Three one pitch. Ball four. All right, so I was getting pretty disciplined here early on. Fielder. Mm -hmm. 
Is it in there for a strike? Lost bat there. <laughs> oh, There's a little humid down here, so maybe the hands a little uh, slicked up there. Coach Gore testing out the knob. All right. Corey Jenkins going back down there, grabbing another, another weapon. Pulls out some new aluminum. Two outs here, bases loaded. One, two pitch. Ooh. Oh. Now again, that's uh, sometimes you lose that umpire. Three, three consecutive walks and you're not going to get those pitches from time to time. They're too close to take for me. 2-2 two, two pitch. Foul ball. Freshman sensation, Lewis Sellis. Lewis pitched a gem last night. Been a no decision for him. Base is loaded. Like Avon Lake pitcher getting a little bit of rhythm here. Balls hit hard. Just foul. Just foul. That would have been. That would have been a little bit of a problem there. And Davis, good jump off the second base. O2 count. Playing off here. I see that a lot with young hitters. And lunging. A lot of uh, bad things come from lunging. Not only bringing the strike zone out there, you kind of develop some bad habits. You stay back. Ball's hit. Third baseman. Oh! Just in time. All right, so we'll get her. Check the replay on that. I think you got him though. All right. All right, so here we got the replay. Just in time. Alright, so the Tars leave them stranded in the first. As we got the freshman this team waiting. We can start on the bump. 
first from catcher Ian Robinson, first base from CJ Kelly. Jimmy Davis taking over again at second base. Lewis Salas at shortstop. Matty Mullen at third. Roy Jenkins in left. Bob Carfagno in center. CJ McConnell in right. Some nice balance of veteran talent and some young talent here for the Tartans. Got back to back starts with freshman pitchers. Could be a bad thing, but in this case, some early season surprises. Mm -hmm. Christian's. Uh, had some good work against Cape May Tech last Friday in Jersey. So first pitch. Nothing game. Island Tartans in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina against Avon Lake, Ohio. And therefore, a strike. Hit it for Yvonne Lake. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout for the Frost. One down here, bottom one. So early success here for the youngster. Changes the arm slot there. The ropes are coming out there. Possibly getting crossed up a little bit. On the same page. Count one down. Ball hit hard. Right at Lewis Salas. Perfectly positioned there. So we got two outs here. Bottom one. Island Tartans uh, forward to getting back home. Some conference ball. Big week ahead. Monday, Tars take on the Triton Mustangs over in Runnymede. And then Timber Creek Chargers come to Highland on Tuesday. Let's get pitch in there. We're strike to even it out, one on one. Okay. Come on, eh? 
swing and a miss. One, two count. Looks like me and first base coach can have a little bit of beef at some point. Getting my camera shot. So it gets away from him there and you never want to Hit somebody with a two strike count. Well, two strikes on them. Losing them. So that's going to bring up the catcher who's a four hitter. Runner, a late break, or actually an early break. Deep the catcher. Right. May have a throw down here at first base. Nice little lead there. Swing and miss. Big swing by the catcher. I know, I know. Big swing. Got two big strikeouts there for the young Frosh, Christian Williams. So at the end of one, we got a nothing nothing baseball game here at Evans Field in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Coming to the plate, top two. Keep my head on a swivel down here. I'm in the line of fire here. Still going to catch me. All right, so we're going to lead off the second with freshman catcher Ian Robinson. He had a big hit last night. Very competitive game. I had a 2-1 lead. Game was tied up at 2-2. Island put on four, top of the eighth. Slammed the door in the bottom half for the win. Big win for the Highland Tarns. So, for you analytic guys out there, starting to see some trends here. All right, Avon, late pitcher falls behind. A lot of 2-0 counts, high pitch counts early on.
could be adjusted to the mound. The Ron Lee team got in last night, yesterday, I believe. And then for a strike. So we got ball four here. Looks like hustling down there. Love to see that. Young kids playing the game the right way. Got a courtesy runner. All right, so we have uh, hitting out of the seventh spot and a freshman for the Tars. Nick Witch. Dive back on a primary lead. Nice lead right there. Ah! Again, you know, diving back on a primary lead. You can see him going back in there with his wrist. He has some fingers and, and wrist issues there. Oh, that's a good punt. That'll get him over. Advances the run. Hey, good job, Bear. Good job, Nick. Played a little small ball early on. All right. Young freshman doing a good job there, getting the rope punt down, advancing the runner. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a big believer, if you, especially in the sacrifice situations, there's dead sacrifice situations, but you know, give, give one a little bit, kind of bump for a hit, get it down, still advance that guy. Um, I don't know if one of your players can do that, but it's something to think about. All right, so we have uh, TJ McConnell here. Getting out of the eight spot. Nine spot, excuse me. Good. 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 Ripken Complex down here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Tournaments, a lot of spring training. College teams come down here early on. High school teams early in the season. Uh, Northeastern teams, New York, Ohio. So you get some of the coastal teams, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. All right, so we got Rob Carfagno again coming up out of the leadoff spot with runners in scoring position. Consecutive nights. Rob had a big night last night. And that'll do it. Get two guys over. Again, allowing Carfagno to lead off just puts him in a really good spot. One of the best hitters in South Jersey. Great base runner, excellent outfielder. Really has a lot of tools. Not your traditional leadoff hitter. Uh, hits for a lot of power as well. Been hitting out of four hole for quite a while. Coach Gord changing it up. 
Okay, big move. So we got Rob here with two on. Try to put the tartans on the board. It's an Air Force strike. One, two count. Again, uh, Avon Lake pitcher isn't really showing the ability to throw that curveball for a strike, off speed pitch. So, see where he goes with here. Not a hard. 2 2. All right, so we got one down here, top two. That ball's hit hard. That ball's hit hard. It's going to get both runners in. Carfagno coast in with a double. What a big. Hit for the Tartans. There you go. I'll get the Highland Tartans on the board. Two nothing here. Bottom two. All right, so back to action here. Got Matty Mullen at the plate. Pitch a strike. Hit hard, a foul ball. Second inning here, a lot of pitches here for the Avon Lake starter. Gonna be a strike on the swing. But Mullen advances out of the box. That'll get a run in. So Highland Tartans take a three-nothing lead here. So that'll bring up Vinnie Davis. Nothing bottom two. All right, so this could be a tricky spot here for Avon Star. Two old count, Vinnie Davis.
Takes him there for a strike. Quite a few pick off the taps. First base. Takes it for another strike. A little out there. So we got a 2 2 count. One down here. Runner goes. Matty Mullen is in there. So we got a runner scoring position. Danny Davis on the strike out there. That'll bring CJ Crowley up. CJ Crowley is well overdue for something here. That ball is hit to the left field, and that's not going to do it. First base coach is killing me here. Out of the coaching box. Yeah. 
so we gotta lay it off base hit. It's going to be a fair ball down the line. Runner's going to get in here. We got a relay here. Play it third. Throws him down. Throws him out at third base. Great relay from McConnell to Davis. I'll get a run in, but great relay throw. Get Avon Lake on the board. Pile it up 3 1. Yeah. Right, Six. Fouled off. So it gets ahead 0 2. Have to get a talking to. So we got to walk here. One out walk. It'll be a double play ball here. Put out a second. Double play.
right, so we have top three on up three, three, three to one. Corey Jenkins at the plate. Corey hitting at the five spot. by a couple steps. Bring up freshman Louis Sellis. Yeah, routine pop up left field. He's got two pitches, two outs. Absolutely a no-go to go three pitches and three outs here. So, folks, we're going to take sign on here. And then for a strike. Count. 
final third. Inside out swing there. Hitter here. Bomb free. And therefore, a strike. Got uh, Christian Williams pitching backwards a little bit here. Starts him off with a off speed pitch. down here, bottom three. Strikes on the back. One down here, bottom three. Pick off the ten. Gives him the Eddie Bates. Towards the camera booth. <laughs> Let's see if 
We send them again. It doesn't go. It's foul ball. Runner goes. Throws off play here. Poor Jenkins is going to have to go get it. Hey, got one. Got to go hard. Yeah. So sure you got to go hard on the ground with the ground ball. Run just a second. Run yourself into a tag. Also to the right side. Sure. Count here. One down. Three. I'm turned up. Three one. We get a little bullpen activity down here. Right. Here is off there. All right, so we get a one two count here. One down. We 
swing and a miss. Good, good strike out there. The young freshman. Field here. Change the speed. Drop his motion down a little bit there. Change the mechanics a little bit, something to work on. And for a straight. Evens it out at one, one, one. Two down. I don't know, three, one. Bottom three. Take a walk. Talk to the young fella. This is a little up. This is again. Nowhere to go. Pitch and then for a strike. A little hesitation by the umpire. Good ball to hit right there. All right, got two one count. Got a fastball count. Lock in here. Get to pitch. And that's not gonna get it done. Low hit ball, Jimmy Davis, charges. Doesn't have enough to get on the throw. Get in field hit. It's a play you want to make there, but playing back a little bit. A little more difficult play than it would appear to be. Freshman throws a strike there. That last at bat. Not a strike, but throws it out, so to speak, but can't get out of the inning. All right, starts off with a ball here. All right, so Coach Gore getting a little, a little itchy down there. Got to make a decision. 2-0 count. And for a strike. Yeah. 
Base is still loaded here. Oh, uh, with a 3-2 lead. 2-1 two, count. Two down. This is up. This may be Chris's last inning of work. Potentially last batter. 3-1 pitch. Oh, oh, I'm not sure where that was. He's going to walk in and run there. Coach Gore's going to come back out. I was worried with these young freshmen. Keep competing today. Nice job. Fastball, got one, swung through it. That ball is hit hard. And that's going to be a fair ball down the line. It's going to clear the bases. We got to play third, and he's going to be out. He's going to be out. All right, so. Credited with a double there, clears the bases. It'll be a 6 3 game. Uh, it's a big inning there for Team out of Ohio. Stay 
he's in the game here. Strike. They finally started getting into a little bit of a good game rhythm. High pitch counts early, but it's settled down here quite a bit. Pitching with lead for the first time. Sound good right there. And then the bat appears. There we go, one. TJ up. TJ hitting out a nine spot here for the Tars today. Pitch hit hard to the third baseman. It's off the bag. He's going to be safe. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Let's take a look at the replay. Let's take a look at the replay there. Yeah, he beats that play. Umpire missed that one. All right, so Highline. Rob Carfagno, Ludolf hitter at the plate. IUP commit. Some good baseball up there at the PSAC. Ball's fouled off. Here. 
fatten up. Big double early on. Two RBIs. Ball smoke. Right at the third baseman. So Rob's seeing the ball pretty well right now, fortunately. Third baseman. It's a nice play there. So we're heading to the bottom of four. The bottom four. First base coach is killing me. And there for a strike. So one more count. A little bit there. On here, get a runner over. We got him out here. Jump in. Got a snap throw. Hey, got one down. We got one down here. Put out the young freshman.
choppers overhead. Not a bad pitch right there. Just misses. 2-2 Two -two count, I believe. Hit hard. Got four, six, three, double play. I get the target out of the inning. Nice turn. Dave is the seller, the Crowley. Brings us to top five. Allen had a lead large part of the game. Bottom of the third. Avon Luke with the five spot. Take the lead 6 3. So, talk a little strategy down here. Tarts need some base runners, some good at bats. We're going to bring out the Avon Luke story. Curl there. Tell young hitters, you know, I really want to break down that delivery. You're just concentrating on the glove and all those other things, kind of get you distracted, balls creep up on you. Just gotta catch that release point. About 12 o'clock out here. 11 o'clock on slot, let's say. Late break there. Nothing overwhelming. But it does, you don't have to be. Be an effective pitcher. Location, movement, velocity, not always the indicator of success. Actually, at any level. Listen to stories of Greg Maddox. Maddox grew up, came up in the major, major leagues, kind of overpower guys, realized pretty quick he's not going to hang around. With a 91 mile an hour fastball, he doesn't know how to hit his spots. And uh, probably one of the best pitches I saw. Location, velocity, movement, and how to really pitch. See what the Highland Tartans have here. We got number two hitter leading off the fifth. Maddie Mullen. Okay. Tartans can use a, another inning here. Chip away at this. Put a hit on the buses. Head back to South Jersey. 
Maddox. That is correct, the professor. Greg Maddox. Greg Maddox was one of those guys. I think I was the first one I seen. Yeah, could literally throw a baseball like a wolf of all times. It's crazy what he would do with it. The other uh, watching Pedro Martinez down in Fenway. Actually, the first time they won interleague play early 2000s. Went to Austin. Watching between starts, Pedro Martinez all but about 140, 145 pounds. Long tossing from the right field foul pole, throwing strikes at the plate. Really freakish type thing. We see it up close. So, um, do the best that I got a chance to see. All right, so back to back to action here. Two-one count here to Matty Mullen. Three-one, excuse me. That'll be a walk. Tight pitch there. Usually, in the tournament play and what have you, you know, I see the strike zone is tight and you tend to see it go the other way. Right, Mullen with a nice lead. Vinny Davis at the plate. Then he can do some damage here. Again, keep in mind we have a relief pitcher coming on here. Going to South Carolina, Ohio native. Facing one of the top hitters in South Jersey. Right. Use it out of one. Ball is in the dirt, and uh, Matty Mullen doesn't get a good read on that one. And you'd like to have back. As the choppers above. $20 tour rise. Big strike out there. Lake reliever. Uh, CJ Crowley who is due or something. That'll get the runner over. That Yvonne advances on the wild pitch. I think somebody is throwing position here. Yeah, one down. Was hitting to the outfield for a base hit. That's going to get a long turn at third base. Oh. Uh, 
Base like that, ball sticking left center field. You want to be facing. You want to at least be a third up the up the field. Read the catch. Once you see that break, you just gotta go, and you, and you gotta have a good feel for it. Sometimes it crosses you up. Matty Ball's a good base runner, um, but you know, just, didn't, just didn't get a good read on that. Um, really, you think that'd be an RBI there? The hard times are. First and third here, one down, Corey Jenkins. All right, so it's, uh, Coach Gore want to move his runners here. Something you want to think about. It was not a very big lead there. Ooh. 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 Looks like he caught him again. Oh, now they're going to say that Corey Jenkins leaned in on that one. Looks like he got fooled, when not they? Oh, I it did. They're saying, saying he reached out over. I just said, oh, okay. Kind of buckled him. Did they sign that a strike? Strike. Yeah, be strike. This is a strike. It's like the same thing as like a foul ball. All right, so that's an interesting one there. All right, so Corey Jenkins leans in and gives him a little Don Baylor. That ball's hitting high. And that should get a run in. All right. Actually, we go. All right, so I'll get a run in here. He's 6'4. Derek Ramos uh, too tight to the bag there. On the sacrifice, you want to be off a little bit. You want to read that flight of that throw once it gets through. You can make that decision if you can advance or not. A little bit more of a play at second than it needed to be. Alright, so we got the freshman Salas. Hit hard, and that's going to be into the outfield. That'll get another run in. Base hit. Louis with a big one. RBI there, help him. Tarns out. Get them on the board. Put a two spot up here. Top five. All right. Right back in it. Starting to put some work on the relief pitcher, Yvonne Lake. Salas at first. Ian Robeson takes a strike. This guy in a scoring position. Yeah, I like to see, uh, especially in these situations, you know, just a one way lead sometimes, a little bit further out. You know, not necessarily that you're going, but just draw some attention by the pitcher, catcher. You know, see what you can get. Basic primary lead right there. Last thing you want to do is get picked up in this situation. And a one two count, two strikes. Pitch. Ball's hit high. 
So I feel a camp down underneath of it. Right, so the Highland Tartan get two. Wait for the ball and get there. Six five going into the bottom of five. Highland up six five. Call for a shutdown inning. For you baseball bunch guys out there that's just getting getting off the field with the wind, take your runs. So Goose egg on the board and the box score for them. Shut that inning down. So as you know, theory and kids and cameras. All right, parking lot lights are on once again. The analogy that I like to make is looking out there in those parking lot lights and you see all the flies and gnats and insects just attracted to the light. Kind of the same thing with young fellows and and cameras. Uh, just gravitate towards the camera. Two guys running up the right fielder. Now, showing out for the cameras. Alright, so again, I'm down 6-5, bottom 5. up and in. Good opportunity for the young guy here. Get some work down in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Just missed. 2-0 count. Got Nick Witch down here in the bullpen. Get some work in. Again, that 2 0 fake punt has a tendency to kind of rub the umpire from time to time. Sometimes you get an automatic on that one. 2 2 count here. Evens it out. Good off hitter in the fifth. That ball is hit hard. That's got a shot. Off the wall. Off the wall, that ball is going to roll. For a double. He could have made a turn there. Force a throw. Just coasting in the second base there. The ball is rolling. Corey Jenkins didn't have possession of it. I guess the game has changed. That ball is popped up. CJ Crowley. Sometimes those balls can be tricky from time to time depending on the day and the sun. Many of you know the sun is very strong down here in South Carolina. So it's a little behind us right now, so not too bad. Fielder, a big swing and a miss. First base coach again just not with the program here you know just keeps moving that 
one one count. Uh, just for you uh, coaches out there, that coaching box right there means something. Get in it. Ball's hit the right field. The runner's going to try to advance. And he does. Put out there, close third. Now I'm gonna... Still playing for the shutout inning here. Run our third. We got bottom five, six five. Island is down. Ooh, swing and a miss. Again, 6'5", Island's down to Avon Lake at Ohio. Bottom five, two outs, two strikes. Oh. Gonna score on the pass ball. I hate to see that happen. I hate to see that happen when you're on the receiving side of that. That'll be a strike three. That makes it really tough. Pitch later. Good pitch in there. Good work. So, head into the top of the six. Highland down 7 5 to Avon Lake High School out of Ohio. Same pitcher came on in relief last last inning. Island tacked on two. Uh, we had a line up here. See that? Damn. Playing on Ebbets Field. All you baseball junkies out here. Got a lot of uh, historic fields. Dimensions are simulated for the old Retro Park, Crosley Field, Crither Field. Not looking forward to the 10 hour drive back home. Can't win them all. The math on the ooh, swing and a miss. Yeah, I 
don't know when the math how far a chopper can get me. I don't think it can get me to Jersey, but pretty quick. Three hours, huh? Huh. That'd be nice. Be nice. Maybe I could uh, park it at the Haas heliport in Haddon Heights, New Jersey. So we got TJ here at the plate with one down. So the Tards are gonna have two more shots of this. We got TJ here, one down. Rob Carfagno on deck. Ball's up and in. One count. Balls down. Gotta get some base runners here some way. Start with a 3 1 count. Gotta be disciplined up here. Ground ball. Get out. You know, on a 3 1 pitch, you want to be aggressive with pitches in the zone. You want to drive balls. 3 1 count, pop ups, weak ground balls. That's something that 3 1 swing should be. Uh, you got Rob Carfagno here. High on leadoff hitter. Two outs. That ball's hit hard. That ball's going to be down. Oh, and he can run. He can run. Look at the kid go. Oh, he's going to coast in there at three for the triple. And that's going to set the table here with two outs. He glides into third base. All right, so we got Matty Mullen here. A really good base runner on third base. You got to read balls in the dirt. Especially particularly on two strike pitches. Matty Mullen actually advanced on a strikeout. Final pitch earlier on. Got a 1 count here. We got an 0 2 count. So again, got two strikes here. We got a pitcher here that is willing to bounce the ball up here. See what happens here. Way ahead. Beat to the ground. Avon Lake team. A little bit of a Florida State. Some colors out here. Some Seminole fans. on the dirt. There it is. There it is. And Carfagno takes a little bit of a nose dive into home plate. Embracing his uh, inner leadoff self. All right, so two count here. Number two hitter, Matty Mullen with the plate. Ooh, just missed. Yeah, spoken from an old ex lead off hitter, free hitter. The way the game's got to be played. That ball is right over my head. The ball's got the game's got to be played. I don't know. Call me in. 
no time, but face running and running the bags. And it's got value. Ooh. Just missed. The ball four. And that's going to bring up Vinny Davis here. Maybe he's had a tough day today, but this week, he crushed the ball. It's a big spot for him. Highland Tarns, top six. Down seven, six, down one. Starts him off with a curveball. Ooh. Just above the belt there for a stroke. We got way ahead here. 2 0 count. Let's see if Tarns get started early. 1 2 count. Go over. And Matty Mullen is going to advance to second base. On the overthrow, again, you just got to ask yourself, you know, like, why? I mean, unless you got, unless you got somebody, why? You know, hold a guy on. There's other ways to hold him on, but throwing balls away, putting guys in scoring position. Not one of the things you want to do here. So Highland leaves one stranded. All right, going into bottom six. Play some defense here, give himself a shot. Parking lot lights on again. Got Tom and uh, Tom out here. Tom from the saddle. Tommy O'Connor. Seem to be drawn to the light. Alright, so we're gonna have really picture Nick Witch in here. Nick is again third freshman pitcher today. Very talented group. Freshman here. Uh, Tarn just got to hold off a little bit. Another two weeks or so. Get the two young fellas in the screenshot. A little shot in the arm. In the interim. A lot of the young guys and solid contributors to the program. Got an opportunity to get out there and play. You know, Connor and uh, Fonisano are back from hiatus. Changes this roster significantly. Significantly. So. Uh, three and three now in the season, early on. Down one here, bottom six. The ball is hit in the center field, and Rob Carfagno comes on and makes a play. What a play. What a play. Make 
sure those pants didn't split there. Those tight pants on Rob Carfagno, signatures. All right, so one down here. Throwing the leather. Or a little uh, inquisitive about the strikes on there. Uh, you know, as a as a pitcher, coach, player, you know, you just want to stay. You want to have consistent. It doesn't matter if the guy's gonna call something off the plate. If he's consistent, you can you can adjust to that. It's the inconsistency that kind of creates the problems. Knowing, knowing what's going to be a strike and what's not going to be a strike is a big part of knowing what you can and can't do. So we got a 1 1 count here. Freshman Nick Witch. Curveball for a strike. Got a 1 2 count. Again, two consecutive curve balls, two two count. Ooh, just missed, just missed a little up. So, uh, again, that's one of those situations where you know it's hard to take a pitch in that spot. Unless you know that's not going to be called a strike. That's the same pitch right there. It comes back. He offers. All right, so we got two down here. First out, phenomenal play by Car Rob Carfagno. Follow up with a strikeout. Right, so that's the third out here. So high on into high on into goes into their last shot at this. Play up before Rob Carfagno. You got baseball etiquette. And some guys just don't understand baseball etiquette. Some Highland faithful out here watching the game. And people just come and park up against the fence, block people out. You know, what, what, what's happened to this baseball community out there? You know, it just can't happen. But the pride and the, and the, and the tartan faithful will not allow that to happen. Game is changing. All right, so got CJ Crowley here at the plate. 
card. This is the last shot of it. Yeah, with a base hit last at bat. Needs to get going here. Somebody new on here. Right, looking to close the game out. All right. Here we go. Where that was, but that was ball. And there for a strike. One on one. Got to put pressure by getting base runners. Ooh, and there for a strike. Right. Strike zone seems to be moving here. at all. One-two count. Too close to take for me. The two-two count here. And CJ Crown. So Coach Gore may have planted a seed down there. I'm probably a little bit punchy here. Point flip back here right now. 3-2 count. And that ball is not hit very hard. And that is not the kind of swing you want. One down here, top seven. Hit hard. He's back on it. Got to be two down here. Down to the last at bat. Sell us up. Great read on it. And I don't 
do it. Extends the inning. Got freshman catcher Ian Robertson. Got a 0 1 count here with two down. On down 7 6. Top 7. One two count. Way ahead here. Oh. Of course, one there. He was out of two. Two and two. Count. up the Myrtle, Myrtle Beach Tour. 23 Myrtle Beach Tour. 7 6 loss to Avon Lake, Ohio. All right. Peace.